Hello everyone and welcome to a quick recording test and try some Half-Life 2 VR. I'm just checking real quick to see if the OpenVR plugin for OBS Studio is working again. I think it should be okay now. Is it okay? And to be fair, it isn't that the plugin had stopped working. Hours. going on? I can't interact. Why can't I interact? Oh, there we go. I just can't see the lasers. I didn't want achievements. <laughs> Never going to be able to find the back button. Wait, I can, I can get the menu to highlight. There we go. Be able to find the load button? Crap, I closed it. What is going on? Closed it again. What's going on? What the hell? Please close this. Can I click on it again over here and close it? Why can't I see the laser? What did I just do? <sighs> this is not pleasant. Why can't I see the stupid laser thing? Why is it that I can drag the window up and down, but I can't seem to click on... I don't know, I guess this was a failure. Why can't I see the lasers? What's going on? I don't think that's actually the... Uh, I can't interact with the school bar because every time I try to go for the school bar, it just closes the stupid window. I just realized my hand is behind that. Why? is not working. I'm just going to exit the game and relaunch it. Oh dear god. I haven't been able to successfully click a button yet. I can drag the dialog. What the hell good is that? Well, I guess this test is a failure if I can't actually play a game. That flashing is so weird. I don't think that comes through in a recording either. Like that's just Vive Console's garbage. I hate Vive Console. Look, if this makes it on YouTube and you, you watch this far into the video, do not buy a Vive Pro 2. It is a piece of junk. Still no lasers. <laughs> what are the odds I'm actually going to be able to hit that load button? Why can't I just... Why? What is going on? I'm gonna try to find my keyboard. I don't have my chaperone on, so I'm probably going to run into stuff. There's my chair. There's the table. Here is my keyboard. Okay, I'm going to see if hitting enter on the keyboard works. 
It did not. Why on earth would recording from open VR break the controls in the game? I'm really confused right now. Oh, but finally I can press a button. Well, maybe I'll try a different game then? There's Fallout 4. This game will probably play like garbage, but that's okay. I've got it confined to the last 16 cores on the processor. That way it stays in the second CCX. AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. Zen 2 architecture has some latency related f issues due to a flaw in their design. The way they split up the, uh, oh my, the way they split up the level 3 cache between the first eight and the, or, well, the first four and the second four cores. It's an eight core processor. It just looks like a 16 core processor to the operating system. It's working okay. seems to be. I'm not going to bother fighting them. Did not go over well last night when I was screwing around. I'll just come up here and shoot the ghouls. I was afraid I was going to have to smack him for a moment. There should be a couple more, I think. There's one more. My aim is improving. <laughs> That's always a ton of fun in VR. Well, the game is playable. I mean, the FPS is about 10 lower, maybe more than it would be if I wasn't recording. I'll have to see what this looks like when I'm done. If it's even worth putting on YouTube, it probably isn't. I think that was already dead. Sir, what are you eating over there? Oh, I just completely missed. I swear my aim is usually better than that. Especially at this kind of range. Are they trying to shoot me? Or they're probably going after a ghoul. It's not like I'd be able to see anything from here. Speaking of ghouls, I think that one's dead, so I'm going to ignore it. Oh, that's what they were shooting at. Yeah, that's why I decided to ignore them. Oh well, yeah, if you blow the car up, it'll kill the ghoul. Alright, I don't really have anything more powerful than this at the moment, so we're just going to have to kill everything with the battle rifle. And yes, this is the Halo battle rifle. I think from Halo 3, although it could be from Halo 4. Please don't shoot me with that. You know what? Just go down, let that explode. We're far enough away, right? It is going to explode, right? Also, was that Garrus up there? There we go. This is 
What game was I playing where the health was on the left hand? Oh crap. Okay, good, he didn't fire. <laughs> I blasted that ghoul body into oblivion. God only knows where it went. I don't think I see it down there, but there's something. Actually, no, that is a ghoul body. Yeah, right there. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? On the plus side, this does seem to be working. Oh, I should grab the ammo from this thing. I can. I don't think I have anything that takes 5.56. Five, five, crossbow points. I think I just took the crossbow. The ghouls will have half of them dead before I can get down there. Stupid lamp. I will gladly take ammo. Yeah, you see the fighting's already done. And other than jumping, this is usually the fastest way back down. See, there's only one of them left. I got lucky with that last round. Okay, that's just a reflection. Yeah, these girls go down way too fast. Well, it's not even a girl. What do they have? Mauser pistol and, uh... Mauser pistol. I have all the Mauser pistols particularly powerful. Good for me, bad for them. They didn't survive very long against those ghouls. Well, I think that's a large enough sample size there. So the only real test left is what I think I've already technically done, and that's to go back to Steam VR Home and see how it reacts. Should be fine now. So it might actually... I'm not going to be able to record... I wanted to do a Half-Life 2 VR video series on YouTube. The hell am I going to record that if the lasers don't work? I have to report that as a bug. I guess this is going on YouTube then. All right. Let's delete. Uh, oh, there was no exit save. Why is that so weird? Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. I don't get it. Is the resolution low? It's just my eyes. 2120 by 2120. Okay. I mean, that's not the resolution of the HMD, but it's not horrible. Everything looks low quality, though, for some reason. Maybe it's just my eyes. Or they're getting dry or something. Anyway, it's running smooth. I'm not having weird stuttering or reprojection issues, so I think we're okay. I forgot I had that back there. Nice. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone, and hopefully I'll have some VR content coming soon.